I love snakes. They're sleek, precise, and aesthetic animals which have intrigued me since childhood. However, this is not the case for most people, who consider snakes as something to be killed on sight. That is why I try to educate everyone I can on these misunderstood creatures as often as possible. Recently, that meant a trip to a busy local park. Yeah. While looking around some rock piles by the water, I saw the tail of a snake right disappearing now. under the cover. So, I quickly grabbed the animal by the tail and began removing it from the rocks so that I could teach all the park guests about how right. amazing and important there they are. Go. So that's, yeah, this is an Erodia Uh This is another, it's a northern water snake. Now this one, it's okay, dude. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. It's okay. Alright. Now you can definitely tell the pattern on this one a lot better than the last one I found. No. This one is not doesn't seem to be as aggressive. Now, I am immobilizing his head because I don't want to bite. Right now, I have my first hit in my backpack in case, but this one's only probably a foot long. He's just been feeding here, I'm sure, on uh, frogs and minnows back in this lake. So that's a really pretty individual. So these will get a lot bigger than this eventually. And these guys are often confused with water moccasins, but water moccasins are not native to the North Carolina Piedmont. So these are completely harmless to humans. They are aggressive just because they're water snakes, and water snakes have lots of predators. But he isn't, he is not, he's not venomous, so if you see one, don't kill them. They are important to the ecosystem. They're pretty cool animals. Now he's musking right now. I really don't need him to musk because I will smell like musk the rest of this week. The snake musk, especially from these guys, seems to be extremely potent. But he's not extremely excited about being captured, so I'll just get him right back there. He's twisting right now. He's not being very nippy, which is good for me. But he, I'll get him right back under these rocks. So that's a really cool find. That's one of the first Nerodius to pin on I found in a really long time. Because it's been kind of getting in between cold and warm here in North Carolina. The snakes really don't know what to do. But that's a really pretty individual. I love the power in this guy. I'm glad that he let me catch him. And I'll get him right back under the rocks. So this guy actually did nip me just once. You can see I'm bleeding a little bit. So these guys are actually really cool. They have anticoagulant in their saliva. They are not venomous, but that will ensure that you bleed for a little bit, which is really interesting. That's one of the cool features about these guys. What's up, dude? You guys want to pet it? No, thank you. <laughs> see how smooth he is? Fearless. They're not slimy. They're pretty cool, aren't they? <laughs> Lots of people think these are venomous. They're not. They really don't want to hurt you. They're pretty calm. This is a northern water snake, and they just hang around the water down here. So you guys just eat like frogs and minnows and things. They're actually pretty good to have around. They're not venomous. They're cool. Cool. Thank you. I probably have. I especially love allowing children to have positive interactions with snakes, as it helps them grow into wildlife tolerant adults. This is actually pretty lucky. I don't find these guys too often. Yeah. So when I do, it makes me happy. I was gonna come find one too, so I'm glad you found one. Right, right. I appreciate I, it, man. No problem. <laughs> While my educational videos are a great way to reach people, I believe that having a first-person interaction with snakes is even more helpful. When I am able to catch and show off a snake via video or in person, I know that I am doing my part to help preserve the health of ecosystems everywhere. This is because snakes make up the middle of many ecosystems, and without them, populations of animals such as mice could grow out of control. Also, predators such as hawks, coyotes, and fish rely on snakes as a food source. For these reasons, I ask you to stop fearing snakes and realize that they do more good than harm. Is that a snake? This is a yeah. snake. This is a northern water snake. Oh my goodness! Lots of people think they're venomous, but they're actually not. They're pretty harmless. Mommy, can I pet it? It's a snake. It's a water one. It's a northern water snake. <laughs> That's Is okay. It they're they're non venomous. It's a northern water snake. Lots of people think they are, but they're actually. They're pretty, she said, they're "Is it alive?" Alive. It is alive. Yeah. He's just relaxed right now. That's what I'm saying. Moving. Yeah, he's pretty. The thing is, these guys conserve energy as much as they can because they have a lot less like ATP than humans do. So their cells really need to keep that energy. He'll only really he'll only move when he's attacking something. Is that the snake that stinks? This is the snake don't, that stinks. Don't rub oh, up okay. on them. Yeah, don't touch down. the tail. Because will... that's where they must. So they will bite they you? Yeah. They don't smell great. Wash your hands after you touch snakes, okay? okay. Because snakes can have a bunch of weird stuff on their skin, like salmonella, which you don't want in your food. Just make sure you wash your hands before you eat anything, okay? Okay. Cool, right? Non-venomous? 
All right, what? sweet. Is there more down there? There are probably more around here, but please don't touch them because they there's they no will way. bite. They will die. Yeah, I'm sure there's tons over there. But these guys these guys are nippy. They won't they won't kill you, but it'll hurt. So don't How touch many them. of them? All right, so this guy is a lot more calm right now. He's definitely moving, but I'm not concerned about him biting me now. I think he realizes that I'm not to hurt him, so I'm just gonna kind of handle him for a little bit. It's really nice whenever you get a water snake that's calm like this one. Normally these guys will bite you if you give them the chance, but this one seems pretty calm, and he he realizes that I'm not to hurt him. So we're just kind of we're chilling now. I'm gonna make sure I keep supporting his body weight, and we'll get the release in just a minute. But this is really cool. All right, we're gonna get this guy back right now. Right back here where he belongs. There's actually two fish in the water, and I don't know if he'll take them or not. But I can show you guys how he hunts if he does. Nah, they're going away, but we'll just get him right back. And he'll slither right back up into his rocks, and he'll probably never be seen again today. But that's, I mean, it's awesome to find them. I love them so much. That was such a great capture. We also got to educate some people about the snakes and why they're important. So that was a really great, really great opportunity. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe right now for new wildlife content coming out every Thursday morning and share this video with your friends. This is the Wild Report, signing out.